21 years old. This was 1998, and uh, I was general manager of a corporation. And I was at work, and I became ill with symptoms similar to the flu. Mm -hmm. uh, within 24 hours, I had been life lighted to uh, Grant Hospital, and uh, they diagnosed me with uh, pneumococcal pneumonia. But uh, the way it turned out is that uh, the uh, pneumococcal pneumonia is an infectious disease. It, it, uh, affects your nervous system and you are hemorrhaging out of every port in your body and at one point you become, uh, they give you medication to stop the hemorrhaging but then you became uh, coagulated in all of your, and all the gangrene goes to your extremities such as arms, legs. So uh, I was over the course of a week I had four amputations, and, and that was in addition to dealing with the pneumococcal sepsis, and my kidneys had failed because part of the part of the uh, things that happen to you with the pneumococcal pneumonia is that you go septic and it shut down your body organs. So I had uh, I had uh, uh, organs that failed, which was my uh, kidneys, and uh, I had four amputations. I was in the hospital at Grant for seven months. Yeah. And I remember thinking that uh, this is about as bad as I can get. And um, I pondered over that for uh, weeks or days while I was in the hospital. A lot of time in the hospital, sort of laying in this basket-like bed, you know, mm -hmm. with railings around it. And I thought, you know, you're going to have to decide if you're going to what you're going to do to mm -hmm. try to fight your way out of this. Right. You know? Yeah. And, uh, I was lucky. I had a lot of uh, resources uh, uh, provided to me and around me. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the, uh, the medical uh, resources, not to mention the prosthetics and the different uh, uh, counseling that I received to help me feel like, yes, there is hope. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I first started, got my when I first got my prosthetics, I, I started to believe that there might be a, a way to to uh, to get back to at least some of where I was before. And uh, you can imagine that uh, everything goes through your mind about that time, yeah. and you begin to wonder, am I ever going to walk again? I think that was the biggest question that I had uh, when I spoke to doctors. And, different people and uh, with having four amputations, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I was diagnosed to be housebound for the rest of my life. So, but there was doctors that told me, you know, if you, it depends on you, how much, how bad do you want to walk? So I remember we contacted a prosthetic company and uh, we got my first prosthetic arm. I had one. And I, when I first got it, I thought, Oh my gosh, I'm never going to be able to use this thing. It's like a board strapped to my arm. You know? But I began to work with it. And then uh, the longer I had it, you know, the better I could use it. And then later I got the both arms. Mm -hmm. And of course, that changed the harness that was on it from mm -hmm. a, one, a single to a double. And I got uh, my first pair of prosthetic legs. Mm -hmm. And um, when, I, when they put them on, they, we did a little trial because we had a walker. And I would stand up and hold on to the walker with my hooks like this and kind of take little hops forward and, and take a few steps. And that went on for a couple of hours and then <clears throat> finally I thought I could do better without the walker. So I set the walker <laughs> to the side and began to walk around in circles around the room. And, and that was a, a really uh, important moment in my life, and of course my wife, who had been with me all this time, uh, because it, it proved that I would be able to walk. Mm -hmm. I don't know, at that time I didn't know how good I could walk, but I knew I was going to be able to walk, and at least, you know, be mobile to some degree. Mm -hmm. And I also learned to use my prosthetic arms to eat with and dress myself and eventually I went for my driver's test 
to get my license back. You, if you don't drive for a while, you don't have any license. So I did get my driver's license back, and now of course I can drive anywhere that I want to drive. And uh, practically walk anywhere I want to walk. Mm -hmm. There's always, a, you know, if you look around, there's always someone that's uh, worse than you. Mm -hmm. And be thankful that you are able to do the things you do. Yeah. No matter uh, what level or what status you are. Mm -hmm.